What's going on everybody? So today's video we're going to be talking about Bond number 9, New York Ooh. So if you want to find out my thoughts and my guest thoughts, stay tuned and watch. So if this is your first time coming across this beautiful bald-headed bastard, and you like this type of content, someone who sarcastically back and really likes to have fun and does not take himself this channel nor this hobby too seriously, then please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. But today's guest, this brother has soul, and that guest today is Equality Fragrances. Bond number nine at New York Oud was actually launched in 2011, but before I give you my thoughts, brother, why don't you give us yours? Peace. It's Equality Fragrances coming to you from PG County, Maryland. Welcome to my cipher. A cipher is a personal place to thing within my circumference. The understanding of my cipher is peace. First and foremost, I want to send a salute to Chad Obed Gentleman's Journey for reaching out to a smaller channel and asking if he wanted to be a part of his collaboration. I'm humbly grateful. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get on to why we're here. The reason we are here is to talk about Bond Number no. 9 fragrances. And the fragrance I'm going to be discussing is Bond Number no. 9, New York Oud. What is this? This is a rose oud combination. At the top, you're going to get saffron, orange zest, plum. You're going to get hit with patchouli, orange root, red rose, and oud. And in the base, you're going to get hit with vetiver, musk, and honey. But what does it all mean? And how does it hit on skin? In the opening, I get hit with that just very little orange zest with the plum. A really, really nice, deep colored plum. The type you bite into it and I can just envision the juices flowing down the side of your hand. That's how juicy this plum is. Add it with a jammy rose, gives it like this Merlot. This deep, sweet Merlot, but yet dry. That adds with the woods. So I can just, just smell that. And it's just, just a beautiful, elegant, and sophisticated composition. Now, what you also get hit with within the first 20 minutes is that orris root that comes in strong. Now, orris root is going to give you a powdery kind of effect. And that powder with the rose, if you're not used to rose oud combination or rose fragrance with powder, could come off smelling like an old lady. Now, let that relax for about 15 minutes that's going to die down that that sweet jammy yet dry rose is going nowhere it's very juicy it's a juicy but yet dry like i think of merlot when i smell this rose along with the oud and when the honey comes in and that sweetness knocks it up a bit this is a sophisticated and elegant rose fragrance. Man, what kind of person I see walk, um, rocking this. This, my friends, is what I call the Wolf of Wall Street. That's who's wearing this. This is a person who's confident, who's sophisticated, but who's also fun and playful. This person knows how to get it done the men adore him and the ladies love him. That's what I envision when I wear this fragrance. Now, this could be unisex. So try it out on skin, see if it works on you. I can see a, a confident CEO boss kind of woman wearing this fragrance. This fragrance is gonna last. I'm getting arms length as far as nice, good projection. The CR scent trail is amazing on this. I'm getting anywhere from six, from seven to eight plus hours of longevity. If you put it on clothing, it's gonna last even longer. On a scale of one to 10, what do I give this? I give this a solid nine, easy, without a doubt. This could be signature scent worthy depending on what kind of man or and or woman you are. If you're a man who wears a lot of suits, like you just wear, you dress up all the time, you're a casual kind of dress up, wear kind of person, 
this could be worn in those occasions. I will only wear this casually. And when I say casual, I mean like dressed up casual, not jeans and t-shirt kind of casual. And suit it up. If a tux is being worn, this will come out. Tux equals Wolf of Wall Street. If I'm wearing a suit and it's a swanky event, this is coming out. If I want to work a room, this is coming out. This is a very nice and beautiful fragrance. Price. Right now, on certain discounters, you can find this for 150 something stripper wands. Mm. That's about three, four lap dances. As T Wall would say, stripper wands. Is it worth it? Mm. I would say try it out first, but anybody who's been on my channel know something is worth what you are willing to pay for it. Clearly, for me, it was worth it because I tried it and I liked it. You can find all you really need is probably a 1.7, which can be found for around 90 stripper wands. So about two lap dances. That's what you will find this for, for 1.7. But this is good. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you the way I greeted you. And that's in the universal language of peace. Back to you, Chad. Thanks to Quality Fragrance, I really do appreciate you doing this video. So the notes according to the actual website itself, bottom nine, the notes are red plum, saffron, and orange zest with oud, red rose, orris, patchouli, honey, vetiver, and musk. So what do I get out of this scent? Now, just to be fair, I have reviewed this one with my friend Rush in a battle and I'll attach that video as well down below. In the opening, I get a lot of plum and a lot of saffron, or I should say just plum and spice. That opening is actually quite enjoyable, but then the rose and the oud do come into play and it just becomes this regular basic oud rose scent. You know, it becomes like all the other oud scents that I pretty much smelled out there. And then in the base, you still get the oud and the rose, but there's a bit of the sweetness from that honey. I don't get honey, I just get a sweet accord. As the fragrance becomes more and more like throughout its lifetime, it becomes a little bit easier for me to wear because I'm not a big fan of rose and oud. This fragrance is really nothing special. As the rose and the oud come into play, it just becomes, it's like the regular, ordinary rose oudy scent. There's nothing groundbreaking, nothing that really stands out. But that opening is quite enjoyable. Seasons, colder seasons, fall and winter longevity was great, eight to nine hours projection. Now, originally I only thought that this was moderate to maybe heavy, not super dupe beyond crazy heavy. Now, I was sitting on the couch one time and I was just working on some notes and working on the computer and the wife came in and she's about like 35, 35 feet away from where I'm sitting. She asked me what I was smelling because it was that strong. I really did not think that it would project like that but okay, one to wear this one, like occasions, I would say that this is a night out. Like nothing club, but I would say something that where you have to dress up in a suit and tie. Something formal, a very special dinner. It's a very, it is a classy gentleman's fragrance. I don't find that this is very unisex at all, because it is marketed as unisex, but sure. And I would say that for work, but someone who is of a higher status, a higher position, a CEO, a manager, or a high level supervisor. Wife's thoughts this one? Well, initially I wasn't even going to ask her because she does not like these types of fragrances, but she did smell it from all the way out from the door and she really does not like this one. So prices for this scent on the official website, this goes for 270 to 410 USD, I believe. Online, on the actual discounters, you can get this anywhere from 105, so 105 for a 50 ml, all the way to 180 for a 100 ml. So you are getting great bang for your value. So it is a good price if you can get it on the discounters. So my final thoughts on bond number nine, New York. Well, I don't like it. Again, I don't like these types of fragrances, but I am willing to wear them and to test them out for these videos. Every now and then I am actually quite surprised that there is an oud scent that I like. And that would be like, Hugo Boss, Boss Bottled Oud. I'm a designer guy, this is definitely quality. And this really does come across as, I don't wanna say dirty, but it's a lot more authentic than the Boss Bottled Oud that I reviewed with my friend Rush. I prefer the Hugo Boss over this any day, 
but this does smell more of quality. It smells a little bit more, I would say it smells a lot more natural. And there is a certain masculinity to this. I find that for you to really pull this one off, you have to be a pretty masculine guy, but at the same time have a bit of a gentle touch, if you will, because of that rose note in there. And my final rate is gonna be a two and a half out of five. That's just because of the longevity, the performance, and the price tag. I find that this is actually a very solid scent. For the price tag, what you're getting, you're getting really good bang for your buck. But on the official website, it's a little bit too much. So guys, that is my take and my friend's take, Equality Fragrances take. So make sure to check him out. His link will be down below. Do check him out, guys. We thank you for your time. Take care, and we will see you later. Equality Fragrances, thanks for doing the video. I really do appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching.